do we think that the group can say that there's a particular area that is always a minefield where someone says, ooh, anywhere, anytime we get near this with AI or talking about it, this becomes a, a problem uh, for the client. You know, where do we have to be extra careful uh, bringing in this, this topic? Sensitive data is one that comes up a lot, like financials, especially like when you report out financials, especially for public companies, they need to be accurate. So ensuring that there's trust around the outputs of AI, that's critical. And that's why the approach we've taken is always put users in the driver's seat, give them the chance to validate the outputs, give them the chance to understand how it works. And I think that's really been effective, but that's definitely where a lot of cautions come up. It's anything that requires the utmost in terms of accuracy. Yeah. And You're that's really it. Go ahead. I was like, you're really invoking my, my risk set here. Um, it, it is around, uh, you know, there's already, a, there's already a court case in Canada that actually there is a, a chat bot that it was a, powered by an AI yeah. system that granted um, an airline ticket pricing information. And the pricing information was incorrect. So the airline said, oh, sorry, customer, um, we're going to have to go back and charge you more because we were wrong. Well, go through the court system and Canada now has a precedent saying, hey, if, if you're AI told the customer that was your price. It was a representative of your company. That's the price. You can't go back and change it. So that inserted a huge amount of risk in someone's you know top line of hey, if I have an autonomous entity giving a price and it's wrong, I have to honor that price. And it could you know, Jeremy's <laughs> Jeremy's tool could really uh, have your closing be really quick. But at the same time, you'd see really red real quick. So you have to be really careful around. What do you want it to be part of? Because if it gets pricing wrong for a company that has pricing like an airline every day, it could be disastrous. It it could be. And another tricky part within that is even the what do we consider you know sensitive financial information? Uh, because you know if we looked at something like the price of an airline ticket, you know that's obviously public at least to a person at at some point. We might not know how much the money the airline is making. Um, similarly for any particular given product, you might not know the costs behind it. You might want to have your AI know what the price to show is, but obviously keep the cost out. Uh, does anyone have some uh, thing they want to throw up about how do you silo that data? How do you carefully manage, uh, keeping, you know, pieces, we're going to let our AI see this, but it has to know this, but not tell anyone. Has anyone done some projects like that? Not uniquely about that, but what I would say, what we're seeing is certainly, uh, to Jeremy's point, identifying the the rules and the regulations and the policies around AI is where every customer we have is really focused on making sure that anyone in their organization doesn't take the data set for their particular space and then play with it in chat GPT. So, you know, having the right boundaries around it. Certainly what we're definitely seeing is so that there's smart information and you're reducing the hallucinations is using the data set from within your organization. So the, the boundaries of data that can get pulled in to generate an answer aren't fictitious. Um, so not so much that there's a matter of um, finding the, the queries that you're asking for there, but making sure that the source information fits uh, and provides answers that everyone can act upon and trust. Yeah, just seconding that, um, especially on the customer experience side of things of really using your own data set to uh, create your prompts and your intelligence. Um, I think that's that's a really key piece. And um, just you'll see the people in your organization start to, to trust that and they'll start to see things that are familiar to them. But I think that's really important. How common do you guys think is the, uh, the concept of, you know, a, the equivalent of a private cloud, uh, people wanting their own training sets? Uh, has that level of understanding uh, reached uh, clients that that you're dealing with? That that is a, a possibility to to move into. I would say yes, absolutely. For us, what we're seeing is the not only the the privacy, but the level of granularity. So that as you think of how to dig deeper and deeper and solve the scale to which the work can happen. I'll, I'll bring together an example I was thinking of earlier when others were speaking. Is we have right now. Um, in large ERP transformations, we have a lot of partners who are working with our customers to leverage process intelligence in that context. Um, as you were talking earlier here about partners, you know, when you think about and, and the early comment in Francis about homework, you know, basically consultants are doing homework for customers and they want to make sure they're bringing their smart brains and balancing what they can charge or not charge on scope to that client. So we have a client right now who's using AI 
where the partner is using AI to look across data for their entire organization to provide a heat map on custom code that they're gonna retire and priority around that, that allows them to do a scale of work that they could never do or charge for because the client wouldn't be able to afford it. And yet now they're applying that smart advisory skill that, that costs time and money where that smart human is coming in to do the right work at the right time. So, I, you know, to me, I see definitely a need to and a, a desire to use your own information where they're getting to really not only look at their organization, but slicing and dicing it by geography or plant or area or process at a really granular level that gives you the specificity to really make tight decisions, which are, are worth a lot of money.